Hello YouTube, this is Stefan from Rip City Baseworks, and today I'm going to show you how to install Android 7.1.1 NuGet on your old Galaxy S2 i9100, i9100M, i9100T, or i9100P, though if you have the P version, the NFC will no longer function if you do this. So this is coming completely from stock TouchWiz, um, either ice cream sandwich or jelly bean. Uh, in order to do this, you will need to first download all of the files onto a Windows PC. I'll have them linked in the description. And then you will need a SD card. Now this is important because during this process, everything on the S2 will be deleted, including any photos, documents, whatever you would have on here. Uh, so if you have anything important on here, make sure to make a backup or transfer them off the device or whatever you want to do. Now let's get started. Okay, so I'm assuming you have the files downloaded already. So you should put all of the files on an SD card besides the uh, zipped folder, which I've already unzipped in this case, uh, Odin Re07, and the uh, tar file GT-I9100, blah blah blah. So that's the uh, initial recovery that we are going to be flashing on the device from stock. So once you unzip this folder, open it, launch the application, allow. Now you're going to see this. Make sure only those are checked, the auto reboot and reset time. And now go over to PDA and you're going to want to browse to the folder that you've saved the this tar file on should be clockwork mod recovery select that open and now we're going to prep the phone for flashing okay so now that we have Odin prepped let's uh, get the phone into download mode so remove the battery from the device, place it back in, hold the uh, power button, volume down button, and the, and the home button simultaneously. Okay, there we go. Once you get to this page, hit the volume up to continue and connect a standard micro USB cable from the device to USB port on the PC. Now it will be recognized on Odin. It will say add it. Now all you have to do is click the start button on Odin and it will flash the uh, custom recovery clockwork mod. And as soon as that's done, take out the USB cable and remove the battery. This is so that the uh, stock ROM doesn't reflash the stock recovery by default. Now you're going to want to hold the volume up, power button, and home button until this screen appears. Then you want to release the power button and continue holding the volume up and the home button. Now you're going to it's going to boot into this clockwork mod. Let me wait for it to focus. There we go. Now you're going to want to scroll down to wipe data, factory reset, hit the uh, home button for OK, use the volume down button to scroll down to delete all user data, hit the home button again. OK. Now you're going to want to go to install zip from SD card. Choose zip file, and now you're going to want to go to wherever you save the uh, files that I put in the description. So in this case I put it in a folder called recovery, and now you're going to want to uh, flash this one. So kernel, launch on, and the date, CM13 i9100. So hit the home button, scroll over to yes. Now it's installing, done, go back, 
advanced burst option reboot recovery Now this is going to boot into a uh, team win recovery project. So now what you want to do is uh, form another system wipe. Now you want to go to install. Make sure you are on the correct storage, so it should be your SD card, which is the second one. Now in this case I'm in the wrong file, so I need to go to recover. nope. I need to go to install, up a level, recovery. Now it's going to be the first one, ISO rack, TWRP, 3.0.0, i9100, zip. Take that, install it. Now you're going to want to go home again, reboot, recovery. Now this uh, custom recovery is a standalone one so it's not changed with the uh, ROM that you install. So this is the method to install Marshmallow and NuGet. So, now you're going to want to go to uh, install again. And now this uh, this file, launch on, repit, and the date, the system, and all that other stuff. You're going to want to hit this. Install it. And then you're going to get this error message. That's normal. Uh, so just hit home. Go to install again. Select storage. Switch to the internal storage. So the first option. Now you're going to want to go to up a level, go down to temp, and then uh, hit this launch on repit, choose that option, and install it. Now this process might take a while, so just be patient, and I will uh, fast forward through anything uh, unnecessary. Once that's done, go home, form another wipe. Now go to install, switch back to the, to the external SD card. Go to whatever folder you have the uh, files I put in the description downloaded on. In this case, I'm in the system. Now choose the uh, whichever ROM that you want. Uh, this will work with any Marshmallow or NuGet ROMs. Um, I'm using the Resurrection Remix version 5.8 by uh, Greek Dragon. This is my personal favorite uh, i9100 ROM. So. Just flash that. Again, this might take a while, so just be patient. I will fast forward through anything unnecessary. Okay, and then when that's done, just go home, go back to install, and now choose the Open G Apps ARM 7.1, and then this one's Nano, you can choose whichever. Uh, Nano is the one I've tested and I recommend though. And I press the wrong button again. System, G apps, install that. And this will take a while again, so just be patient. Okay, and when that's done, go home again, select wipe one last time, okay, 
and now you can hit re reboot oh. system and again this might take a while so just be patient I will fast forward through this part also okay and when it finally boots you will see the screen so just hit get started oh. Didn't mean to hit that Okay, choose the settings you want. Select your time zone. Choose the launcher. I recommend the pixel launcher. And there you have it. You now have Nougat on your old S2. Here's the model, here's the version number for verification. I9100. Android 7.1.1 Nougat. Thanks for watching and any questions don't hesitate to comment.